Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. The night travelers. I have to say that um, when uh, when Helen was talking and giving you the uh, the card, uh -huh. and she mentioned that you're a wizard of the guitar, yeah, it, it struck a chord in my mind because I, I'm an old fart now officially, <laughs> and I, I remembered a line from an old old movie that some people may remember, and it went like this. There are some old wizards, and there are some bold wizards, but there are not very many old, old wizards. <laughs> and I thought of you right away. You remember, and remember that, and keep in mind, that's wizards with a D at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. <clears throat> Nikki Portman. How long have you been playing that upright bass now? Since uh, 2010? 20, not 2009. Okay, she's already a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Aww. Oh my God. Woo! Give it up for the night, Frank. Uh, I just want to, this first song that we're going to do, um, it means a lot to us for a number of reasons. Uh, it, I mean, it's a beautiful song. It's an, uh, we didn't write it, but we made this particular arrangement. But um, the last time we were at Woodchoppers was in 2017, I think. And in 2018, in the February of 28, February? No, it was March, March of 2018. Uh, on the weekend, which was the anniversary of when James's mother passed away a year before, uh, we were playing a gig at the old Almond Brothers farm in Macon, Georgia. Uh, we had been hired to play there by the people that currently own it. And we had a great day. And that evening was the beginning of what turned out to be James having a stroke. Oh my. And we didn't know it. We were trying to figure it out. He didn't have the typical symptoms. And by Monday, things were really, really bad. And I finally talked him into letting me take him to the emergency room. And we almost lost him. Uh, he wasn't good that week. Um, you wouldn't know it to look at him, but the day afterwards, he didn't know who he was, where he was, uh, didn't want to talk about his banjo or anything. And by the end of the week, they released him. Uh, we came home Thursday night. And on Friday, a friend of ours, a really great mandolin player in Atlanta, came over to visit with James. And, uh, and they played music, and James could play. Wow. Uh, now, he had trouble talking, and we had a long road. Uh, it took us most of 2018 and 2019 to pull everything back together again. We, James worked really, really, really hard. Um, I did too. We worked together. Um, thank you. Thank you so we're standing here tonight, and this is a song that we had arranged, oh, God, uh, maybe five years ago, six years ago, and we played it here, not in 2017, but I think it was the year before that, in 2016. And uh, it's a beautiful arrangement, but the funny thing is, is that apparently we never made a recording of it. We didn't have it on a CD, didn't have it on a tape, didn't record it on a cell phone. It's really unusual. And after a stroke, James couldn't remember it. We'd lost it. The song was gone. We had, we had an intro to it and everything, and, and we couldn't do it. And we started early this year, and we reconstructed the song, and this will be the first time for the first audience in five years that anyone has heard our arrangement of Over the Rainbow. Aww. Aww. <clears throat> 